It's the morning of the first stage of the 2017 Giro d'Italia. We're going to check out some tech here at the start, and there has also been a bunch of very cool tech in the run-up to the race. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so here's another very, very cool spot. Back at the Dubai Tour in February 2017, Dan spotted a Cervelo bike underneath a hidden paint job, and this looks like the next step. This looks very close to a finished production model. It's called the Cervelo R-Series, as far as we can tell. Still awaiting confirmation on the definite name of that. I think actually my favorite detail on this bike is the shape of the seat post and the way the seat post bolt clamp is just so neatly integrated into the frame. That's very, very slick, very cool. Don't focus on my neck, it's really burnt. We are clearly at the FDJ team, and on the roof of, I think, Team Car 2, they have got a spare bike for one of the riders, Sebastian Reichenbach, and that spare bike looks to me very much like it is a brand new Lapierre model, as yet unseen, but signed off by the UCI, because all bikes used in UCI races have to be signed off by the UCI. I think it's the Lapierre Airco 2. It's got silver head tube decals, which makes it different from the other ones. There we go, brand new tech here at the Giro. Right, so we have just bumped into the guys from Physique and every year at the Giro they try to bring something special and something custom out for their shoe-sponsored riders. This year is no different. This is the Giro R1B Climb Edition. It's inspired by the hills of the penultimate stage of the Giro. This big one here, that's Monte Grappa. This one here is Asiago and they're really special to Physique because this is where they themselves test their products and love to ride. They've got guys like Rowan Dennis and Grant Thomas using these shoes, so the penultimate stage could be, well be where the race is decided and could well be where either one of those guys power on to one of their very first Grand Tour podiums or Grand Tour victories even. I think they're nice, very, very cool. Chances are that you can't miss the Gretiotti bikes of the CCC Sprandy Polkovici team in the dark. Those are nice, but very bright. I grew up watching the Tour de France in the late 90s and early 2000s, and you may well disagree with me, but I think that anything with a Cipollini name on it is pretty damn cool. <laughs> Bianchi, the bike sponsor of Lotto NL Jumbo, are one of the iconic Italian cycling brands, and their color, the signature Bianchi Celeste, is also one of the iconic colors of cycling. So I think it's really cool to see the Celeste Bianchi bikes in the peloton at the Giro d'Italia. Another interesting point on the Lotto NL Jumbo bikes is that they've got some of the newer, for 2017, Shimano Durace wheels, and they're also still using some of their older stock. So wheels are something that constantly get recycled by teams, so they need to have a lot of them just in case of breakage or punctures. So some of their spare bikes are still on the older wheels. I wasn't expecting to see this at the Giro, but Quickstep have got two riders on disc brakes. They've got their team leader for the GC, Bob Jungles, on discs. He has got the newer version of Shimano's disc brake rotors, and also his teammate Ilio Kaiser has got the older version of Shimano's disc brake rotors. Now, I find this fascinating because I think it makes Jungles the first ever team leader at a Grand Tour to be using disc brakes. The conditions here are dry, so it means to me that maybe he's actually going to be using discs for nearly every stage of the race, if not all of it. Very, very cool stuff. Another iconic Italian bike brand after Bianchi is Colnago. Colnago are back in the World Tour for 2017, being ridden by the UAE Fly Emirates team. This is Rui Costa's bike, classic Italian bike, at well, the biggest Italian race. And also, they're using these very nice Power 2 Max Power Meters. Right, so behind me on the Lotto Sudal team car, you can see that one bike stands out from the rest. That is Adam Hansen's. Adam is one of the more interesting riders in the Pro Peloton, especially when it comes to bike setup. So the cranks are not Campagnolo. They're 180 millimeters long. The chain ring, I've got no idea how big it is. It looks like it's massive, probably bigger than the chain rings that the rest of the guys on the team are riding. Yeah, just a very interesting bike setup, very unique. So Bora Hansgrower and one of the other specialized sponsors teams have actually got two types of specialized Venge here at the Giro. One of them has got matte paint and the other one has a really glossy finish. So the matte paint is actually a weight saving measure. It saves 100 to 200 grams depending on the size of the frame. And when you're trying to get a really light, really aero bike, that really does make the difference and gets the bikes down towards that lower UCI weight limit of 6.8 kilograms. Katusha are a fully SRAM sponsored team. We can see they've got SRAM ready tap on their bikes. They've got the zip wheels as well but a very interesting change in how teams approach gearing and products kind of occurred over the last few years, but for the SRAM teams, it's especially occurred now because SRAM Wi-Fi, which gives the rear mech a longer cage, which means it's better able to cope with the larger cassettes, was released for SRAM Red ETAP at the start of the year. So these rear mechs 
can now cope with gearing up to a 32 tooth at the back, meaning that even on the worst, the hilliest, the hardest stages at the Giro, the team mechanics at Katusha won't actually have to change anything about the bike setup, except for a few little adjustments. Filippo Pozzato is one of the most flamboyant personalities in the pro peloton, and that is reflected in his bikes. In fact, I think you can probably see our filmmaker's reflection and the reflection of the back of my head in this bike because it's that shiny. He's got this incredible blue one and also on the next team car, just over here, he has got this one, which is silver and bronze. And I think, I think very, very cool, actually. I really, really like this one. So I said that Pozzato was a flamboyant character and that was reflected in his bikes that are on the roof of the car, but it turns out he's also got another bronze race bike. And this is his podium, just kind of getting around bike. It's a Willia Superleggera. I love, absolutely love the classic kind of old school steel, Columbus steel styling. I just think that's a very, very cool bike. I'd love to see him race it actually, but I imagine that he probably won't do that. The Trek de Mane behind me. I actually got very excited when I saw it on the roof of the car because I thought it must be a new model. They're hiding it. I don't think it is. I think it's a Trek de Mane. The Trek team are sponsored by Lee Jeans. So yeah. It's not a paint job, it's I guess it's like cover? Something like that. Anyway, let us know what you think of the look of this bike and of all the other tech in this video down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this one, hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends too. And to subscribe to GCN, just click on our logo, which is on screen now. If you'd like to grab a pink logo GCN t-shirt, there's a link to our shop on screen too. To see all of our videos from the 2017 Giro d'Italia, just click right there. And to see more cool tech videos, just click there.